Can I have six small numbers, please? Right, I'll take them all from the bottom row, if that's all right with you. Um, yeah, that's okay. Okay. All right, then. let's see what we've got. Three, two, five, and one. They are small. Eight and ten. Great. Ah, that's fortunate. 135. All right, take one, three, five. 30 seconds to get that. Time starts now. Five. We're after Richard. Yes, one three five. Oh, good. And Peter. One three five. All right. Well, you seem to finish in record time, Peter. I'll just ask you first. Eight plus five is thirteen. Eight plus five is thirteen. Times ten is one thirty. Plus two plus three. Plus two plus three. Oh. One three five. Easily done. No wonder it took about four seconds. <laughs> uh, now you were a bit longer, Richard. Yes. Well, I just mixed up the five. I put eight plus two plus three is thirteen. Right, and then, and added, then added the five in the yeah. end. OK, yep, same fine. Oh, well done. All right, so ten points for both. And we'll go quickly on because we want to get to the conundrum now. 28 and 41, so let's please prepare ourselves for this. And if everyone's ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> and on three seconds, he says... Marauding. Marauding, he says, which is absolutely correct. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Well, well done, uh, Peter, and with 51 points, which is the same as yesterday, you've uh, carried you back twice now, so that's uh, setting a bit of a trend. So congratulations, the new champion, well, still, sorry, still the champion of Countdown, Peter Hibbitt. Well done, Peter. <laughs> Bad luck. It was a good, it was a tight game, uh, especially in the first half. Uh, mm. We thank you very much indeed. I thought you were going to be a bit of a lad, but... Uh, no, uh, wasn't, not. wasn't to be. Well, you are a bit of a lad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, Richard, thanks very much indeed, and a goodie bag for you, and all the very best, and enjoy your holiday in Italy, your thanks. study in Italy. Richard Salmon, bye-bye. <laughs> and here's Julie Barlow from Southampton, from Soton. How are you looking forward to tomorrow? Bit nervous. Okay, get the conundrum? <laughs> no. Is that an inline of words? No. Oh, no wonder you're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see, good luck, Hannah. We'll see you tomorrow. Ken, we won't see you tomorrow, but no. we've had a great time, Ken, for these last five days. I've loved it myself. It's been great to be back. Uh, first time in 11 years. I hope to see you in 2007. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> if you could just, when you get back, uh, ask uh, J.Y. if he could come on the programme, please, because we do need we do need a sort of bit of gentility. and sort of, Need uh, a bit of young blood. We need, yes. yes. <laughs> Would you mind mentioning it to him? Uh, I'll be his mind, and I'll come <laughs> along. <laughs> OK, Ken, well, a lot of fun, anyhow, and we'll see you soon. It won't be 11 years. Ken Bruce. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to say that as Ken, as one of these Radio 2 chappies goes off, another one comes through the door, you know, there's all one behind, the most distinguished broadcaster, CBE now, David Jacobs. He'll be here this tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.